Hello there again. Welcome to my channel, Maes Treya, and you are here again with Maestra Treya, serving you with another topic. So welcome to my class, everyone. For today's video, we are going to discuss two additional rules from the three rules, first three rules that I provided yesterday. So for today, we are going to focus on the rules on whether or not we are going to make use of the singular or the plural verb for sentences or subjects with intervening phrases and subjects followed by of phrases. So these two will be our focus in writing. Most of the time, students would still get confused, even even professionals preparing the report, so on, would still be confused on these two rules. So we are going to refresh our mind, and then we will try to make it a point that we will understand, master, and remember these two rules. So enjoy the video, and I hope that you will be able to learn from this video once again. So we start with the definition of an intervening phrase. So an intervening phrase is a group of words. However, it is not a sentence. Okay. This intervening phrase separates a subject from the verb. Technically, the intervening phrase does not affect the number of the verb in a sentence. Here are examples of intervening phrases. So you have here, accompanied by, as well as, in addition to, and together with. So these are your examples of intervening phrases. And you will notice, ladies and gentlemen, that the the intervening phrases are separated by commas. Let's take for example the sentence, Lucas, together with Luis and Calix, is going to the hall. So your main subject here is Lucas. And... Your verb, of course, since Lucas is singular, your verb should be singular, is. The phrase together with Luis and Calix is an example of an, inter an intervening phrase and it does not all at all affect the verb nor the subject. So your main subject will still be the basis of your verb. Another example is on Tress and Lance along with our ring were brought to the park. Now, this sentence is safe. You can easily identify that this is verb because your main subject refers to two different persons. So, that's plural. So, your verb should be plural, just the same. The last sentence. Aurora, as well as Shervet and Diana, grabs the chance to travel. So Aurora here is your main subject, therefore your verb should be singular. As well as Shervet and Diana is just the intervening phrase. So remember the rule, an intervening phrase does not affect the verb in the sentence. Moving on to the next rule on the use of of a phrase. So an of phrase is actually a prepositional phrase, which of course functions as an additional information to the subject. So we have examples of sentences here with of phrases. But you would notice that we also have a sentence with a with. So with and the object of the with there is it still a prepositional phrase, so it belongs to the rule just the same. So in these sentences, the highlighted are your of phrases and prepositional phrase. As to the application of the rule, example in the sentence, each of the taekwondo players 
was very precise with his or her pumsei. Now here you have each as your main subject of the taekwondo players is not included as the subject. So your verb there should be singular because you're just referring to the pronoun each. And take note, there would be a change in the preposition, his or her, because you're just referring to a singular entity. The next sentence, the team with the green jerseys marches forward. So the team here is your main subject. You're not including with the green jerseys anymore because this is just a prepositional phrase. So your subject is singular, marches. On the third sentence, the women with purple flags are rehearsing. So women, this one is actually very safe because it's plural already. So that will require a plural verb, are, right? So in this uh, rule, always remember that a subject followed by an of phrase or a prepositional phrase will always follow the number of the verb. So it's always the basis for the number of the verb in the sentence. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you were able to understand our lesson for today on these two rules. So bear in mind that these two rules are very much used and applied in writing, even in speaking. So do pay attention to these rules so that you will not be getting mistakes. If you enjoyed this video and you have learned a lot, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will have more and more lessons to learn. So keep watching. Call your friends to subscribe to my channel so that they too will be benefited from this lesson. So this is your Maestro Rea and I'll see you again in our next class. Ciao!